In the meantime, we have been following all the aspects of the BP oil spill. My next guest says uh, some of what we're witnessing is game-changing for the industry and could put oil projects on the back burner. Gianna Byrne was an industry analyst and traded oil futures for BP and Amoco. She now advises energy investors and also industry insiders. Gianna, uh, great to have you with us. Thanks so much. And, uh, you know, a lot Thank of investors you. have been watching what's been going on in the Gulf. Those who are, are buying into energy stocks or have holdings there and wondering, you know, what exactly is this going to mean in terms of increased costs for other oil companies, not just BP? Well, you know, the whole industry is watching this disaster unfold. And, you know, to begin with, it's completely unprecedented. As every other oil and gas producer watches this disaster unfold, they're thinking the cost structure for doing business, certainly in deep waters, is going to go up in any one of a number of ways. We're going to have increased regulation for the industry at a minimum. The industry itself will impose a certain amount of additional levels of regulation within the industry. Industry, but cost, structure, uh, cost structures we can expect to go up, certainly as the moratorium on deep water drilling continues, what you are going to see is producers, you know, race to the shore. They're going to be looking at basins that are onshore, shallower waters, right. and that will there will be a renewed but focus towards those kinds of efforts. Jana, do you have numbers yet, or just from judging by what's happened in history, I know it's unprecedented, how much of those costs will go up by percentage terms even? You mean in terms of uh, uh, cost to the industry? I mean, the, the liability, I've got to, got to believe that this is going to be in the billions of dollars. It's probably too early to tell what the cost to it is, uh, ter to BP itself will be. Um, but this is going but to no, be but, in but, the but, billions. But, but, but I what mean, I mean is more, you know, if you're an offshore, if you're an oil service company um, and you're, you know, you've got operations offshore, uh, you can well imagine there's going to be more regulations, there's going to be more safety protocols. Uh, how much more could that cost these companies? I think for any one of these, certainly for the offshore, the oil field service sector, you're going to look at uh, increases upwards, you know, in the 10 to 20 percent range in some of their budgets. You're going to see portions on the producer side of the world where portions of the E&P budgets will get reallocated towards safety, regulation, mm. um, increased efforts in that arena to address just these kinds of catastrophic events. I mean, you don't think that uh, the unthinkable has happened in the industry, right. and you're going to see exploration and, and production budgets get reallocated to now uh, address what happens in a catastrophic event. Uh, Jenna, is there any differentiation, though? I mean, you know BP is going to phase higher costs, maybe Exxon as well. Are there any oil companies that are safe from this? You know, there. Are, I don't. I don't think at the moment. Uh, certainly, your onshore producers and producers that are focused onshore. You know, they don't have this kind of potential exposure. Uh, shallower water drilling has certainly a whole lot less. Uh, you know, a probability of event for these kinds of catastrophic events. So those kinds of producers that are focused on onshore shallower waters, I think they will have a lot less li potential liability. But, in the future. Right, but what about, uh, and I had thought you'd mentioned before, like Petrobras or uh, Saudi Aramco, that they, they may not, they may not get as affected uh, as a company like BP. Obviously, a company like BP would be. Well, I think what you'll see, what the game changer in the industry is going to be, is for companies like Petrobras, Saudi Aramco, where they own to, you know, a very large percentage of the, their own reserves. You know, these national oil companies play on a different kind of level. You know, it's no longer what I call a level playing field in the industry. Your independent oil companies, the BPs, the Shells, Totals, Exxons of the world, right. they now have to find ways to work with these other national oil companies yeah. on what has become a very unlevel playing field. Uh, and Jana, before I leave you, I mean, just to get back, though, to BP itself, um, is it over for them with other offshore oil projects? I mean, are they done for? Yeah, I, I don't think so. I think what we have to remember in this industry is that it's very long-term in nature. For BP, uh, certainly the the 
um, the, in, the environment will recover. It'll, it may take a decade for a disaster of this magnitude, but for a company like BP, BP is a uh, very, a company with a very strong balance sheet, very good earnings, very solid cash flow. Right. I think BP will be able to withstand this, any kind okay. of potential long-term liability associated with it. All right, Gianna, thanks so much for joining us. Gianna Burn of Brookshire Advisory.